Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dipasha Mishra signing in as the Flora Explorer. Today, I am going to take you for a trip to interns hostel which is also allotted to the first year PGs in the absence of the vacancy. Before starting the trip, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And for closer interaction, you can also follow me on my Instagram handle that is the Flora Explorer. This is the first entry point and the most used one where you'll find guard uncle and the most important use is that this point is where you ask the delivery wale bhaiya to keep the parcel when you are on duty or just lazy enough to get off your bed. Okay, so now let's head forward towards my room that's on the ground floor. There are total four floors and the bridge we just crossed connects the road to the third floor. This is the basic infrastructure of the hostel with galleries similar to that I showed in the main girls hostel. Now let's move towards the mess that is the most criticized place in every hosteler's life. This is our cooler that dispenses ice cold water in summers and helps us beat the heat. It's really hot here in Tanda during summers. So let's go ahead and this what you see is the second entry point on the ground floor. Now here comes the bathing area present at the entry point of every corridor in each floor. This is the basin outside for washing utensils and then there is a partition between the bathing area and the toilet area. There are three bathing areas and four toilets. Don't keep your hopes really high. This is a government college guys and this is the best you can get. Okay, so now this is my room with an epic room number that is one, two, three. In our colleges, the rooms are painted with this creamish yellow color. College provides a rack, a bed without a mattress, chair and a table that is prefixed to the wall beside the window. The best part is that every room has a personal balcony. This is how it looks from outside and this is how it looks from the inside with a tall boundary. The first thing that I did was to get rid of the yellow color and get my walls whitewashed. Ding ding! Time to bring in the luggage. OMG, don't get surprised guys. It has been four years I have been living in this college. But now I definitely need help. Focus, focus. It's manageable for the night now. The space behind the door is the best in the entire room. You can keep your kitchen, book or shoe rack and you can also convert it into a dressing area. And then you open the balcony door and the space disappears. This is the corridor space that you can use to keep your shoe rack. But beware of the rats, I got one of my heels spoiled by them. My balcony is also all set and my plants are happy. So it's my first morning in my new room and I have to get some help to get my fittings done. Got my fittings done that is my two planters and the most important thing is the full length mirror. Mirror is not just a mirror, it's a companion. It answers your mother's question like Kya hai? What are you wearing? The washrooms are really far away from some rooms and some washrooms even don't have one. So you need to bring yours. Next thing that I added to my room was this foam brick wall that is super easy to stick and gives you a great look. Got a Persian style pink color rug. I just love it. Not just because of the pink color, but because of the memories it has been a part of. This rug has hosted so many parties, gossips, priceless moments. That's what makes it special. So the next upcoming places are my favorite ones. First is my workplace or I should call it as a multi-purpose workplace where I seldom studied, created content and the most important thing I did there was my second favorite thing after gardening that is cooking. I learned to prepare so many dishes during my internship time like I, I can cook anything right now. 
by following the YouTube recipes. Okay, so now let's move forward towards my second happy place that is my balcony, the home to my plants. Most of the evenings I've spent in this balcony watering plants, taking their care or just sitting gazing at them. A rainy day? I personally love rain, but not just because of the pouring drops romanticizing everything, but also saved me from carrying buckets from one end of the corridor to the other. My room was the last one in the row, making watering my plants a kind of a mini workout for me. I cleared this piece of land that was outside my balcony. I planted a golden cypress, tulsi plant, aloe vera and some gladiolus and coleus too. I wish whenever I get a chance to get back to Tanda, I see my cuties flourishing there. A room is just a structure of piled bricks over one another on four sides with some windows or doors. It becomes your room with the emotions, chit chat and laughter sessions, gossip sessions, breakdowns, parties and all these priceless moments. Not just any four wall structure makes you nostalgic until you have strings attached to it. I absolutely miss my post cleanup sessions and clicks. That's a different feeling beyond explanation like you've achieved the whole world. A routine of coming back and brewing tea and having chai pe charcha or sipping tea with the eyes glued to a show seemed it would never change. But just like the tea, the time was also trickling down. This was the day when my heart sank. Time flies. Cherish every moment of your college life. That's all I can give as an advice to my juniors as a senior. This day when everything gets into cartons after five and a half years is a really pathetic and a whole different feeling. But life is all about a change. Life goes on. College life always holds a special place in your heart and med school is somewhere you live for five and a half years of your life. Friends become family and the memories are the most memorable ones. Hence proved once a Tandian, always a Tandian. I heard seniors saying this long back but now I feel it from my heart. Thank you everyone and until the next video I'm signing off as Flora Explorer. Keep planting a hope.